these images have been generated by an AI model. The top one is a serene sunrise over the iconic Taj Mahal in India. Second one is the majestic Eiffel Tower and a look at the production of the image and uh, clarity to detail. And the third one is the uh, enchanting beauty of Northern Lights. All of these images have been just pro produced by single line of text. Look at this video. Let me play it a bit. So you see how that fire is glowing, the beach scene, the human walking, the so amazing production. This video has also been generated by the same model and with just simply a text. Look at this 3D generation from just text and this has also been generated by the same model. Let me stop it. Listen to this audio. Let me switch it on. There you go. This audio of birds chirping is also being generated by the same model. And this model is this Illumina T2X. Illumina T2X family of model is a series of text condition diffusion transformer models or DIT in short, which is capable of transforming textual descriptions into vivid images. Dynamic videos detailed multi-view 3D images and synthesized speech. At the core of the Lumina T2X lies the flow-based large diffusion transformers or flag DIT, which is a robust engine that supports up to 7 billion parameters and extends sequence length to 128K. Drawing inspiration from Sora Lumina T2X integrates images, videos, multi-view of 3D objects and speech spectrograms within a spatial temporal latent token space and can generate output at any resolution, aspect ratio and duration. One thing with this Lumina model is that you cannot really install it on commodity hardware. I have tried installing it locally by using just a GPU of 22 GB of VRAM. It didn't work. So as you go through its repo, it seems you would at least need a powerful GPU. I would say more than 40 GB or something like that. And then you should be able to do the inference. For training or fine tuning, you would definitely need a multi GPU cluster. There are various great features of this amazing model. If you look at this diagram, so what is happening is that Lumina T2X adopts a flow matching formulation. It is equipped with many advanced techniques such as rope, RMS norm, and KQ norm, demonstrating faster training convergence, stable training dynamics, and simplified pipeline. Lumina T2X can encode any modality, including images, videos, multi views of 3D objects, and spectrograms, into a unified 1D token sequence at any resolution, aspect ratio, and temporal duration. Also, they have introduced two new tokens next line and next frame. This model can support a res resolution extrapolation with the help of these tokens, which means generating images, videos with out of domain resolution not encountered during training. Also, their observations indicate that employing larger models, high resolution images and longer duration video clips can significantly accelerate the convergence speed of diffusion transformers. Also by employing meticulously curated text image and text video pairs featuring high aesthetic quality frames and detailed captions, their Lumina T2X model is learned to generate high resolution images and coherent videos with minimal computational demands. For example, the default Lumina T2I configuration equipped with a 5 billion flag date and 7 billion llama as a text encoder requires only 35% of computational resource compared to pixel art alpha, but still it would be fair bit of deal in order to run this model. And these are few of the other examples from this model, as you can see, 
let me try to make it bit bigger so that you will be able to see the text prompts so all we are doing it we are giving it a text prompt and then it is generating all of these amazing images look at this uh, locomotive which is a sort of a steampunk one amazing stuff and it is surrounded by the purple fog as per the prompt and it has produced that gem there you go some more stuff amazing stuff okay now <clears throat> they have also given a gradio demo which i have loaded but it, it seems a lot of people are using it so there are a lot of um, rush going on so let's see if we are able to do it so let me try to um, give it a prompt here and then we will submit so what i have done here is i have just changed their prompt from mexican to australian so let's see what it produces i have just clicked on submit let's wait for it to come back so this looks the same one as before i don't see any difference okay that's interesting maybe i just need to change it all i'll just say maybe and australian outback let's try now there you go now we have an australian outback here looks good and then there is a second demo and this is australian one it i just ran it again after clearing it up and then it was able to generate it and then of course you can just use any prompt here and it is going to generate these sort of images also it can generate images with merely 10 steps without any distillation so but due to the high load for now they have disabled the resolution extrapolation functionality and also the video one it seems because i don't see any option of creating videos and then there are a few other examples you can select from here for example um maybe just select this one and then click on submit and look at this amazing amazing response of the model that many trees are surrounded by a lake in autumn colors in the st style of nature inspired imagery heaven core brightly colored dark white and dark orange bright primary colors environmental activism forest punk so really amazing stuff so all in all a really impressive model as you can see there is um, i believe that this is going to be a real success in the very short term and long term i believe due to the quality of the production i will drop the link to this model in video's description let me know what you think if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel and if you're already subscribed then please share it among your network as it helps a lot Thanks for watching.